Good morning, Bob. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. So we had an appointment scheduled for today. Unfortunately, the weather got in the way of that, but that's all right. I want to make this video for you to bring the Wolf Pup 16FQ right to you uh, to tell you a little bit more about it. So the Wolf Pups are really one of our best-selling brands. Uh, they're very easy to tow. They only weigh about 4,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. Uh, they are very well decked out with all the available packages. Uh, this is the Wolf Pup Limited, so I'll go through and show you what all that entails. So starting out up front, it does have a manual tongue jack, but if you would like, we can upgrade you. It won't cost too much. The good thing is because the hitch weight is so light on this RV, it's super easy to raise and lower by hand. It has one small propane tank, uh, but we could add another if you would like. Uh, that rack right there, that's where the deep cycle interstate marine battery will go. Uh, of course, it's brand new. Uh, this RV is brand new, so we haven't made it ready yet. But whenever we make an RV ready, what we do is wash it, detail it, do a full systems check, fill the propane, and put an interstate battery, not a cheap battery. Uh, it's available nationwide if you ever need to exchange it. And uh, if we can earn your business, we'll have it plugged in, have everything turned on. We'll show you how everything works. And it also does have a diamond plate up front to protect you from rocks and debris when you're going down the road. It is prepped for solar panels, so if you'd like to get them, you can keep your battery charged and keep your lights on as long as you have uh, the sun available to you. And this is what the kit looks like that we usually get. It's a briefcase type setup. This is the front storage. Pretty good amount of storage here. And this is the electric awning. It's a pretty good size. It covers basically the whole length of the RV. Uh, so you have plenty of coverage right here. The nice thing is it does have LED lights, the blue LED lights. So if you want to sit outside at night, you can illuminate the campground and be able to see everything that's going on. Uh, it also has marine grade speakers out here. And that works with the radio inside, AM, FM, Bluetooth, auxiliary input, headphone output. Uh, these will last for many years because they are marine grade and they do also have uh, LED lights on the inside that match the awning as well. In addition to this, you do have power connections, grounded power connections for TV or whatever else you want to put, uh, and AV inlets here for the TV as well. So if you want to sit outside and watch the game, you certainly can. This mount uh, works with the same mount that's inside, so you can bring the TV outside and bring it out here. The nice thing about this RV is that on the door, it has a uh, screen door here with a patented door opening system so on a day like today that's pretty cool and breezy you can have all the windows on uh, excuse me have all the windows open have the vent open in the bathroom um, have this going so you have plenty of cross ventilation and also this is a friction hinge door so the nice thing about that you don't have a latch on the door you don't have a latch on the wall so you don't have to worry about them becoming brittle and breaking over time or you know forgetting one time that it's latched and accidentally pull the door and break it so with this RV no worries in regards to that uh, nice thing is this one has the upgraded steps, the step above steps that people really like. They're a fifth wheel style feature. They have a very low point of entry and in addition to the extra large door handle here uh, that folds three different ways like that. Um, this is much better versus the small tiny little plastic handle some RVs have right here. It's really easy to get in and out. Um, these steps they have feet you can adjust to different ground levels. And, I mean you could really just jump on these and they're not going anywhere. Uh, because they do rest on the ground. Coming around this way, this RV does have a uh, spare tire conveniently located on the back in case you ever need it. I am plugged into main power right now. This is a 30 amp service, which most RV parks are. So if you ever travel around the country, you'll find that most places are 30 amps, so you won't need an adapter or anything. Uh, this is the gray and black uh, dump stations right here, conveniently located in one location on the back corner. This is the panel for the refrigerator in case you ever need maintenance. This is the uh, furnace exhaust right here. It actually works. I will show you more about that when we get inside. Uh, this is the <clears throat> furnace exhaust. So whenever you have the propane furnace on, this is where it vents. This is the outside shower with hot and cold water so you can hose off before you go in to keep your RV clean. This is the city water connection, so if you're at a park, you have constant water supply. This is the fresh water connection. If you want to go off the grid, you can take potable water with you no matter where you go. The water heater on this RV is a gas and electric six gallon rapid heat water heater. So you can have hot water no matter where you are as long as you have power or propane. Go ahead and come inside now. Let me give you a 360 view here. Uh, 
Okay, so starting out up front, really nice thing about this RV, um, on the newer model, they had the bed going this way, but they changed it to that way. That way, um, you know, husbands and wives don't have to crawl over each other. You have uh, room to walk around the bed and uh, make it whenever you want. So that's really nice. And then in addition to that, they also have a ward on the left and a ward on the right to hang clothes. So that's really nice to see. You also have overhead storage. And on the side of the bed, you have USB and standard chargers and a little nightstand to hold your drinks and things. So you can always uh, keep your devices charged whenever you need. And underneath the bed, do you have storage here? Pretty good amount of storage. Nice thing about the Wolf Pups, they have these accordion style blinds versus the old style. So they're really easy to open and close. You don't have to fumble around with them. Uh, the kitchen does have the regular blinds, but that's due to uh, fire code regulations. And you have overhead storage right here. You have a stainless steel 1000 watt residential power microwave uh, with a carousel. So heat up food really fast. Uh, you don't have to wait very long versus lesser powered microwaves that are out there. This is the range hood I was talking about outside. It actually works. So if you're cooking eggs and bacon in the morning and you want to vent it out, um, you can have this fan on. It actually works. It doesn't recirculate the air. It has a two burner cooktop here with igniters. So it's really easy to use very space efficient. You have a sink here, just enough room to uh, get business done. You have a control panel right here to monitor your tanks, turn on your water heater um, from gas to electric and also the pump. And this is the large eight cubic foot refrigerator. So definitely oversized fridge for an RV that's about 20 feet overall. There you go. The really nice thing about this RV, you know, whenever you're in the 20 footer range, a lot of them have tiny little bathrooms. But on this one, the uh, bathroom is basically the whole width of the RV. So you have plenty of room to change, do everything you need to do. Uh, storage underneath the sink as well. And you do have the uh, shower here. Pretty good size shower. And also this is the vent that I was talking about. So you know, on a day like today, if you want to cross ventilate, you can just open this up, turn this on, and you'll get a lot of air sucking through here. So keep it nice and cool. And also, you know, during the summer, if you have this open and have a window open, it'll keep it 15 to uh, 20 degrees cooler in here versus not having it. Uh, that way your AC doesn't have to work as hard whenever you reach your destination. And this is where the TV goes. These are all the connections here for um, cable satellite you can switch from back and forth to the built-in antenna with this button uh, RCA jacks power connections this is where the TV mounts right here and also lots of overhead storage this is where you control the furnace and this is the uh, all-in-one radio AM FM Bluetooth auxiliary input headphone output and USB uh, this is the dinette that can sleep uh, one person as well it's all about being compact, space efficient. This is where your main controls are uh, for lights, awning, power connections, and USB. Uh, the AC on this RV is 13,500 BTUs, so for an RV this size, it'll keep it plenty cool. The nice thing is you do have these uh, doors to control the air circulation, so you can point it wherever you want. Okay, Bob, again, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. Um, Please let me know if you have any questions after you watch this video. We are here every day but Sunday. During the week we're open from 8 to 6 and Fridays from 8 to 4. So let me know whenever you can reschedule to uh, take a look at this RV in person. And we do also have the r -Pods. We also have the uh, Micro Minis. Different RVs that are in this size. So we do have a really great uh, product selection available for all budgets. Uh, my number is 979-253. 2611 and please feel free to give me a call with any questions. Thank you so much, Bob.